Margaret of Denmark celebrated her 83rd birthday this Sunday with a star-studded appearance to show that she can handle anything and everyone. The Danish queen, with a full eye in blue, first greeted alone and then surrounded by her family those who gathered to congratulate her. In addition to her children, Federico and Joaquin of Denmark, who arrived with their wives, Princesses Maria and Mary, the queen's eight other grandchildren appeared on the balcony this Sunday. So ends the rumor mill of bad family sentiment that reigned during one of the most difficult years of his reign, marked by a difficult physical recovery, tangled family struggles and cold revenge, for disinheriting some of his grandchildren. Prelude was filmed in it last Thursday when he had a big surprise. He went out into the courtyard of Friedensborg Castle to perform one of his traditions. It's great to be here again, he said. He introduced himself with a cane to greet the traditional procession of people with torches. The parade, called Fakultag, is held when the monarch leaves his winter home and heads to his summer home. The queen has been resting since February 22 after a major back operation to alleviate problems she has suffered for years that have worsened. However, even if, because of his persistence, he has decided to return to his duties, he will still have to wait to fully recover. During this time his eldest son, Crown Prince Frederick, and his sister, Princess Benedicta, served as regents. On the other hand, there was no trace of Joaquin of Denmark or of his family, which had fallen into immense silence. How was Margaret of Denmark honored? The image of the queen at Christian Ix's palace in Amelienborg with her loved ones is a signal of a return to her routine, if that is possible after all the changes she has gone through lately and of the convulsive family relationships between members of the Danish royal family that have starred in various episodes in recent months. From the castle square, everyone in attendance accompanied the royal and her family as they posed, smiling and burying their, at least in appearance, hatchet. As the institution announced a few days ago on Instagram, anyone can leave a greeting written on the door of the Palais des Goulet. Also in Ameliegate, it's been five years since the Queen stepped out to celebrate her day from the balcony of Amelienborg. On her birthdays in 2019 and 2022, she stayed at Marcellusborg Castle in Aarhus, the country's second-largest city. And during the pandemic, in 2020 and 2021, kept it private because of restrictions. Since then, her world has been turned upside down.